Well, this will be SR1, obviously, just like H1, HR1 or S1, rather, uh, creates a priority for what the majority thinks is important. This is the first time in 21 years that the first bill that got referred to a committee, S1, got referred to the Rules Committee. It is fundamentally a federalization of the, of the, of the election process. We've had a process since the beginning of the country where states and local officials uh, had the flexibility and the ability to make their laws work for voters in their state. You know, Democrats argued for weeks and months after the election last time. It was the most secure election we'd ever had, and the highest number of people that had ever voted voted because of the flexibility that states had to respond to the moment and how it impacted uh, their state. Uh, you know, there are First Amendment issues, there are Tenth Amendment issues, there are constitutional issues on redistricting, in addition to simply federalizing the election process. Now, in every article I believe I've read on this, one of the lines in the article is, according to the Brennan Center, there are more than 250 bills filed by Republicans in state legislatures to make it harder to vote. Well, 253 bills, to be exact, according to the Brennan Center, in 43 state legislatures, so that's about six bills per legislature, which is probably about right. Uh, by any legislative standard, politicians are always experts on how to conduct elections. But th most of those bills will never pass. In fact, the two bills that have passed, the two Republican bills that have passed, according to the Brennan Center, one is in, in, in Arkansas, where they further explain how their voter ID rules will be implemented. And another is in Utah. The voter suppression bill in Utah, according to the Brennan Center, is where the lieutenant governor, who is the election official for the state, has to forward to county clerks the, least of, the list of deceased people in Utah from the Social Security Administration. If you believe this story, that is voter suppression creating a way that dead people get off the voter rolls. There are 700 bills, by the way, filed by Democrats in state legislatures, a number I've never read in any article yet, to make it theoretically easier to vote. Uh, things like Illinois, where at least in the big counties in Illinois, you have to have a polling place at the jail under that bill that now has passed in Illinois. Now, I don't agree with that, but I don't vote for anybody in the Illinois legislature, uh, and I don't assume that Washington, D.C. is a better place than Springfield, Illinois, to decide what's the right thing to do there. Uh, I'm opposed to this bill. I would be opposed to a Republican bill that said, here's the Republican way to take over the election process. Uh, we've got something here that's worked for a long time, that's responsive, that people know the people that are expected to be sure that the election is conducted in a free and fair way, this bill takes all of that away.